Hi, uh, my name is Nicole. I'm with the San Antonio Natural Areas Parks and Recreation Department, and I'm the Education Coordinator. And today we're talking about cochineal. Um, so we're also going to be doing cochineal dye. So the, active, the supplies you'll need include water, um, lime, because we're doing different colors of cochineal, and you'll need rubber bands if you want to make a uh, tie-dye design. You'll need at least four bowls. We have alum. We have the dried cochineal insects. We have a mochahete to grind up the the, insect, the dried insects, but you won't need that necessarily. Um, you can also use other things like a spoon and a fork and a bowl. And then we have vinegar and we have some natural cochineal insects. So you can see what they look like on the cactus pad. So before we start, I just want to talk a little bit about the cultural history of of cochineal. So cochineal has been used for thousands of years. It's native to the Americas, so it grows readily in, in Mexico all the way down to Peru. And it's still being used today, and it's one of the only natural dyes that the FDA um, has regulated and allowed in our food and makeup. So right here you can see on this example, this is from Peru, you can see the cochineal dye right here. And these are probably uh, variations on the same cochineal color, but just with different additives. So, and then these are some juices. So if you drink any of these juices, you are drinking cochineal insects. So um, they use natural cochineal dyes in these drinks. So on the back, you'll see carmine, which means cochineal. So let's go ahead and get started on making our dye baths with cochineal. <clears throat> so first we'll, Actually, we'll go ahead and jump over here. I'm going to take the dried insects. So these are the same thing as what's on the cactus pad. I'm going to take the dried insects and put it in here. Just about a little more than a spoonful. And you can buy these pretty much on Amazon or a fabric store or an arts and crafts store sometimes. So you really only need a small amount, a very small amount in each bowl. So that, that's enough for, all right. so. so I have the labels on here. So here we're just going to use cochineal and water. Here we'll use cochineal and we'll add vinegar and water. Here we'll add cochineal, water, and lime, and then this one, We'll do alum, so cochineal water and alum. And that will change the pH levels in the dye and will change the colors too. So I'll go ahead and add water to each of these. So we'll leave this since it's just going to remain as cochineal and water so you can compare it with some of these colors. So here we're going to add vinegar, just a little bit, I'm not measuring, um, but maybe a few tablespoons and you can see how that changes it to orange. And then here we're going to do lime. Kind of orange. And add some more. That's my last one. I only did two small limes, so you don't need that much. 
And the last one is aloe. And I'm adding maybe just a, about a teaspoonful. I'm kind of guessing on this one. Let's see how that turns out. So I'm going to kind of mix all of these up so you can see the colors. All right. So next we will take those rubber bands that we have and make little tie-dye designs. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, I'll show you. I just oops. This one's getting these rubber bands are try this one. have to be pretty tight. It's very handy to speed it up. <laughs> okay, one more on this one. that one in there. The next one is in that. I'm going to try a different way to fold. Okay, this one. Okay. Well, actually, I think I'll just do a regular tie dye. I'm just going to go ahead and these two colors are really similar. Yeah. <clears throat> A little bit different on this one because it's very thick. Last one.
Right. So we'll let this soak for about an hour and then we'll come back and undo these and then we'll take a look at the tie dye designs when we get back. All right, so here we are an hour later and now we're gonna take a look at some of the tie dye designs that we did with each uh, cochineal dye bath. So the first one is just regular cochineal and I'm just going to uh, cut off the rubber bands. As you can see, it's just cochineal in water. There's no, um, no ingredient that binds the color to the fabric. So. so this one's gonna be a little more subtle. There's one tie dye design. And the next one is cochineal with vinegar. So this kind of gives it the orange color. And now we have the one with lime. This one's a little bit lighter. Last one is alum. This is a really sharp color. And alum also helps bind the color to the fabric. So all these are just different ways to make cochineal. And you can see alum is the sharpest color. And then cochineal without, with just water, leaves the colors very light and subtle. So <clears throat> that's it. <laughs> Let's hope you had fun. <laughs>